I want a menu win. I want them to win one nil. I wasn't expecting this from you. Though. <laughs> because you must understand, he's not into publicity. <laughs> no, it's not publicity. <laughs> yeah. I I want any team above Arsenal to lose. <coughs> and ah. if Man U win, they wouldn't catch up with Arsenal actually. <laughs> hey, see ya, see ya. Because oh. nine plus three oh, is, yeah. is is twelve, right? Twelve and Arsenal. Uh, it won't catch up with Arsenal, yeah. but it's good for those above Arsenal to drop points. Yeah, okay. Right? So that's why. You why? What? You should expect them to drop points. Huh? But you can catch up with the one above also. Eh? So no difference. No, it's yeah. okay. Like 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 he said, it's only Close eight up. weeks. He's it's only eight happiness. weeks. <laughs> it's only eight weeks. So there is hope. There is hope that is the points are near. In 12th position, 9 points uh, above relegation zone. But uh, after 8 games, there are other teams that are 9 points, 7, 8 yeah. points, right? Yeah. So if you lose in this game and other teams below you win, you might go yeah. to the bottom 4. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Bottom yeah. 4. Uh, I think Liverpool, in terms of points, 24 points, uh, 8 point gap, I think. Is it 8 point gap? 8 point. Uh, with uh, Manchester City. Yes. So you kind of. If you lose, you like what he said lah. It's not much, it's but not, it's not bragging like rights. Yeah, yeah after, but the pride a bit off lah. After the, I want. Uh, there's two things lah. For me, it's two things. Um, I was mentioning this to some of my friends. The we no matter what, if we go drop points, right, we can drop points games after this because oh. they will have the bragging rights to say that they derail us. Our ah, ah I see, I see. Okay, okay. okay. So no matter what, this is how uh, how strong the rivalry is. Mm. No matter, I think a lot of Liverpool fans will think the same. Want to lose points? Lose points after. I, I will. I will beg to differ with you because at the end of the day, judging by our difference in points, quality, and the the positioning on the table, right? Any fan who brags about derailing Liverpool at this uh, point in time, right? Yeah. Is delusional. Okay, uh, I, I got something to say. But the thing is that it may sound negative for me. <laughs> okay, because you guys got nothing to say already. So this... Exactly, exactly, the, exactly. If, 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 if you, if yeah. any fan, <laughs> if any <laughs> fan were to yeah. go and say, any fan were to go and say, oh, we did this to Liverpool at this stage, right? It is completely out of their mind because we got nothing to prove. I think uh, I think what he's trying to say is that it's petty. Yeah, right. It's That's too the, small for yeah, you to argue and say, ah, ha, we we beat Liverpool. Yeah, we did. And we okay, did we, if we do so, beat you in this match. So what? Because we have gone through that. It's like our league is not the same as yours. You guys are the ones on top of the table. Yeah. But the point of time that the one time that uh, Torres was playing in the season. And then we beat you guys twice. Yep. That kind of ah, it's like a cushion. It's like a cushion for us. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, yeah. it just becomes a stat. Yeah. yeah. Right? That's all. But it makes me a bit. Yeah, happy. like how Manchester United stopped the uh, unbeaten run of the Invisibles, lah. Forty nine games. Invincibles. Uh, ah, Invincibles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just it becomes a stat, lah. Yeah, it becomes yeah. a stat. Yeah. So now they are in relegation zone, right? Yeah. So we are 12! <laughs> hey, hey, why are you? Oh, sorry, not allegation zone. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You never say, I'm sorry. You never say that. I cannot say it. No, no. Why are you? <laughs> well, well, how, how was your last game? How was your last game? What was your last game? Let's talk about If I were to describe it in one word, is misery. <laughs> misery, misery. Not happy lah, basically. Miserable man. I, you know, I I watched the game and then as soon as the goal went in, I switched off my TV. It was the eighty something minute. Eh? I think seventy something around there. there. And I tell you, like, I've never done it before. I've never done it before. Even if United were to lose the game or were losing the game, I've always stayed on passionately. Like, okay, it's a it's a loss, whatever, right? But the Newcastle game had it, man. <laughs> is it the manner of the goal or is it the play of the Manchester it was United just, players? It was or? just like, okay, okay, they're not good going attacking, right? But just defend lah. 
Uh, you know what I mean? Like that is when I I just want. Defend. to Correct, no. If you're not expecting the same defense, <laughs> two 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 sixty minutes. <laughs> in, <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe lah. Maybe we got two. You got. You guys got two weeks yeah. to prepare. Yeah. Um, I think we for the past couple of games we have not been uh taking our chances. So uh, I think the last game, Mani hit the post and I think Salah also had one on one and with the keeper and didn't finish it off. Yeah. So we almost get punished because of that. So luckily we got a uh, penalty last minute uh, to win the game. So I, I'm hoping that uh, going forward we would take our chances and not waste it. Do uh, you agree? I agree. Yeah. I agree because even I attack, agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our attack is, I think, yes. is, is okay. But uh, maybe we use our luck to win the game, so we never, we never score more goals. You see, it just shows yeah. that that uh, like this season is proving to be that season where anything happen lah. You see, City losing twice. Yeah. To like relatively low teams yeah and, and then perform against them and then of course <laughs> and then of course Liopu showing their vulnerability right that's yeah. that's how it is la. It's, it is it is very un- unpredictable season and it's just showing okay so uh let's pause from 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 that banter uh, and I would like to uh, say that there's there's this uh, against racism campaign that the EPL is uh, is uh, is organizing it's called no room for racism yep. campaign uh, running these two weekends 19 October to 27 of October they also encourage um, fans uh, who spot racism to report it uh, there's a website premierleague.com slash report racism so if, even if fans uh, or supporters at the stadium they spot racism they can actually uh, report it lah, right yeah. so yeah. we we, enca- we encourage banter uh, in our show, but I think that there is a limit, there is a border, Correct. right? Yep. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I would say this action by the Premier League is uh is very much uh timely and welcome. But of course, personally, I would say it's a little bit too late because you know, they only. I mean, you can see, they the whole England team was abused in Bulgaria. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It came and from then, there, and then it within the next week, you have a campaign going on. So it's it's. It shows that it's a little bit too late, but again, in a positive note, it's not too late. It's happening. It's still happening. It's like. still happening. The problem is the main, the main body, the FIFA itself, is not even doing anything. Yeah. yeah. It's bullshit, yeah. lah. Yeah. And mm. the main, the main body, FIFA, is like not even uh, trying to uh, come up with a press yeah. or something to to say this yeah. or to find Bulgaria or yeah. or kick them out of the tournament or something yeah. like that. No, but they, they but but the way. Bulgarian government did take action. They yeah. they did force the sports minister or what to to try to find these people right oh no they fired the the bulgaria fa head ah. from not wrong. he was made to resign oh i see yeah because so they, i mean it's embarrassing it's embarrassing, it's embarrassing. i mean embarrassing. i mean it's we live in singapore and kl i mean in malaysia and and singapore uh we all we will have to agree that racism is something that we all will would have dealt with in our life at any point of time whether it's yeah. in a in a personal space or at a workplace or at school it's it's always there but then us in in malaysia and singapore we've always been tolerant we've always been happy together despite all this we still don't taro you like yeah this like, one is like this is embarrassing this embarrassing. yeah embarrassing. the what happened to the english players was very embarrassing, yeah, it's embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. i think don't don't be offensive don't be toxic because yeah. i don't think it really helps the game at all yeah Definitely. you know it really yeah. doesn't help and yeah. you are attacking the player yeah based on race yeah. <laughs> and it's not personal. on skills yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's personal yeah. it's totally yeah. personal yeah so I mean, uh yeah. racism is one thing but calling them like you know the monkey chance right yeah, 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 i mean yeah, that yeah, that blows my mind i mean like Okay, he's dark skinned. Okay, he's he can be of an African descent, uh, descendants. But how does that become? You can call him monkey. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it, yeah. It, it doesn't it's justify. It yeah, yeah. really doesn't justify. It's bullshit, it, yeah. 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 Because because they are a bit ignorant towards racism and all that. So to them, they don't see it as racism. So like the one that uh, 
think one of the Italian club was telling Lukaku that uh, the monkey chance and all that yeah. is just for fun and it's not. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't see it as you don't as it is as a racism. Yeah. So for them, it's a really it's a joke lah. For really them, it's a joke lah. I think if that yeah. person, if that t- target, uh, the person being targeted, he finds it offensive, offensive. Yeah. I think it's racism. It is. Yeah, yeah it because is. I think if he takes it into offense, yeah. it's, it's not. It's not the person who's saying the joke to judge. Yeah. It's the person yeah. who's receiving, receiving it. Yeah. When he feels offended, that means you need to apologize already. Yeah. Yeah. It is a, okay. Then okay. Correct. Correct. I think we at time kiss, out. Yeah. Call time yeah. out. Yeah. Time out, man. Yeah. Time out, man. Kiss yeah. my badge. We say. We say no to racism and we yeah. don't re- encourage racism yeah. at all. We encourage banter. We yeah. keep encourage mocking each other. You can clubs, right? you can poke fun, make fun, yeah. all that, but never, never get down to details like that that will harm the person's reputation, image, and their self worth. Like you cannot destroy a person's self worth. Three one. To I'm Liverpool. Going, I'm going to be bold and say oh, one three. Sorry, uh. I'm going to be bold and say that uh, we are going to win and it will be a score of Manchester United 1, Liverpool 3. Because you are still not confident of your defence. Yes. Uh, keeping a clean sheet, right? <laughs> yes. Correct. That's why the one. What about you, Rafi? Uh, for me, similar uh, 2-1 for us to win. Okay. Uh, I think MU defence is quite uh, tight. So, getting two goals is good enough. As long as we win, so I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Satish, what do you, get? What do you think? My, my, your predict- score prediction? my prediction is going to be... Uh, I'm going for a draw. So, I believe it will be like a 1-1. One, one. I, I, I've realised that for the past few games, I've always been very cautious. optimistic and oh, cautious. Yeah. I, I have been very cautious. I mean... Yeah, yeah. For the Newcastle game, I was going for like a narrow win and all that kind of thing. So, they got their narrow win, not us. So, uh, I am going for a draw. Definitely a draw.